very good morning, my dear children. Welcome back. I hope you had a lot of fun in the Bihu vacation. So once, since you had a lot of fun, it's time to get back to your books, right? So today we are going to start where we left off. Do you remember, children, what we were doing so far? We had started the chapter fractions two. We had learned about how to add mixed fractions. We had learned how to subtract mixed fractions, remember? And we had also done a lot of problems from exercise 10.1. We are going to continue from there. And we had just left the hot questions. Today we are going to discuss the hot questions of exercise 10.1. Okay, so take out your copies, children, and please note it down. And get back to me if you do not understand even one single step. Okay, so let's start question number 21. Okay, from your workbook. So in question number 21 of your workbook, children, if you will note, it is not very difficult. All you have to know is how much is 22, 2 by 6 is greater than 18, 1 by 4. So if you, since you have to find out how much is this number greater than this number, what do you do? You subtract. You take 22, 2 by 6, minus 18, 1 by 4. Okay? Now, since they are mixed fractions, what is the first step to be done? You convert them into improper fractions. How? Multiply the whole number with the denominator, then add it with the numerator. Here, I'll do 22 multiplied by 6 because 22 is the whole number. Multiply it with the denominator. Add 2. Group everything under the same denominator. Okay. Now, for the next part, again, 18, 1 by 4, it's a mixed fraction. Convert it into improper fraction. How? Multiply 18 with 4, then add it with the numerator 1, divided by 4. Okay? Children, please calculate it very quickly. What will you get? I'm giving you two, <laughs> two minutes. Pause the video and calculate it yourself. Okay? So once you calculate it, children, you will get 134 by 6 minus 73 by 4. Now what do you have to do? You have to subtract these fractions. Now children, you will note that they are not like fractions. Why? Because the denominators are not equal. So what do you do? You take the LCM of 6 comma 4. Now 6 comma 4 have common factor. They are both even numbers. So prime factor is 6 comma 4 by 2. You will get 3 comma 2. So LCM of 6 comma 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2. How much is that? 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12. So what does it mean? It means that you have to write the denominators in such a way that they are 12. Now children, when will the multi when will the denominator 6 become 12? If you multiply it with 2, since I am multiplying the denominator with 2, I will multiply the numerator also by 2. Okay? When will the denominator 4 become 12? If I multiply it with, with 3, because 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. Since I am multiplying the denominator with 3, I will also have to multiply the numerator with 3. Okay? So, after multiplication, what will it become? Please pause the video and multiply. Make a workspace and multiply. You will get 12 and 12 on the denominators, right? And 134 multiplied by 2 is 268. And 73 multiplied by 3 is 3, 3 is a 9, 7, 3 is a 21, right? All I have to do is subtract it, group it under the same denominator and subtract it. 2, 6, 8 minus 2, 1, 9. How much do you get, children? You get 49 by 12. 
Now children, you will notice that 49 is greater than 12. So this is an improper fraction which can be written as mixed fraction. So divide 49 by 12. How much will you get? It will go by 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 ones are 4, 1. So to convert an improper fraction to a mixed fraction, you divide the numerator by the denominator using long division. Okay. The quotient becomes the whole number. The remainder becomes the numerator. And the denominator is the same. Okay. So this can be written as 4, 1. All right, children. If you see in the board, there's a question number 22. Sheila cut the rope into two pieces. The first piece was 33 1 by 4 inches long. The second piece was 17 1 by 3 inches long. How long was the rope before she cut it? What does it mean? She had two pieces and she, uh, she had one rope which she cut into two pieces. The first piece is 33 1 by 4 inches long. The second piece is 17 1 by 3 inches long. So what is the, so how long was the rope before she cut it? What does it mean? That means length of first piece plus length of second piece is equal to the total length of the rope. Right children? The total length of the rope is length of the first piece plus length of the second piece. This will be equal to what is the length of the first piece? 33 1 by 4 plus 17 1 by 3. Is it correct? Now these are mixed fractions. You have to convert them into improper fractions. Let us convert them. This will be 32 multiplied by 4. Why? Whole number multiplied by denominator plus numerator. Divided by the denominator. Plus 17 multiplied whole number multiplied by denominator plus add the numerator divided by 3. Okay. Now pause the video children and calculate this. Okay. Once you calculate, you will get 133 divided by 4 plus 52 divided by 3. If you notice children, they are unlike fractions. So what do you do? You take the LCM of denominators. 3 comma 4. Now, 3 comma 4 children do not have any common factors, right? So, the LCM is 3 multiplied by 4, that is 12. Okay. Now, what does it mean? You have to write the denominator in such a way that, the, that, the, that it is 12. Multiply the first denominator with 3 because 4 multiplied by 3 will give you 12. Since you are multiplying the denominator with 3, Multiply the numerator with 3. Similarly, for the next fraction, 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Since I am multiplying the denominator with 4, I will also have to multiply the numerator with 4. Pause the video, dear children, and please calculate. You will get 12 plus the denominators are 12. And what else? The numerators will be 399 plus 208. Okay. So once you add the numerators, once you add the numerators, children, you will get 607 divided by 12. Now 607 is a big number and we can convert this into an improper fraction. So how do you do that? 
divide the numerator 607 by 12. Okay. So I know that 12 multiplied by 5 is 60. What, I have, what, what do I have left? 7. So 607 by 12 can be written as 5, 7 by 12. So the original length, so I can say children, the length of the row is 5, 7 by 12 inches. Right? Okay children, please note it down. If you have any problems, you can get back to me. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.